Welcome back to the Sam Houston State University Bearcat Dynasty. We're heading into week six where we're going to be traveling to the other side of the state from where we are in Huntsville to University of Texas in El Paso. It's a very long trip and apparently they're one of our new rivals. Uh, I did not know that. I did look it up and we've only played three times. And we've lost all three. So, this is a statement game for us. We have to come out and make sure that we get a win and that we'll come to make it at least 25% of the games that we've won. Let's get into it. And this is going to be a Thursday night game. So, it's going to be pretty cool. We are not going to be playing any stadiums or anything like that. We're actually going to be playing in the Miners home stadium over there in El Paso. So, this should be a good game. We are statistically better than them, but hey, stats really don't matter, especially when I'm the one playing quarterback and defense. Third and eight. Bringing some pressure from the right. We're unable to get him, and he's wide open. Missed a tackle big time. Still fighting, getting a first down. Run up the middle end. Oh, I missed him. That was me. Playing that defensive end. <laughs> don't let me get rough on these sticks, baby. There's a run up the middle. Gaither's able to bring him down. Fourth and seven. Let's get the ball back. Oh, ah, don't tell me we messed up. Whew, good we didn't. Well, their stadium pulse is pretty nice, but you know, we're gonna keep it on the ground. Up the middle, gain a four. Just gonna go short to the tight end right here, and he is open, and you're able to pick up a few. We do have a little center beater here, and we're able to hit Gentry. There we go, making a move. First down. So they're bringing some pressure. We would buy a little bit of time by rolling out to the right, and we're able to find Phillips. There we go, make some moves. First down. Big tight ends to the left. We're keeping it on the ground. We're just going to hand this off. There we go. Finding some room up the middle. I don't know why I juked, but I did. Probably going to be looking to the right for a day. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. I do want to go for this. The middle. Whoa! We were able to get that first down. A little Texas route here. Getting it to Urbacek. Making a move. There we go. Well, that's going to be it for the first quarter. We are tied at zero right now. We're doing what we can to get some positive plays and make sure we hold the ball. That is our game plan. Game after game and it's working three game win streak right we're going with this slip screen and he's able to get it make a move not able to get much of anything favorite route we have going is the texas route uh we're rolling out we might just go for it well ah, there we go touchdown bearcats james bauer said you know what i'm gonna take this i don't like what i see we had some pressure we're gonna roll out baby Woo! Oh, man. They run right past us. They probably do see us blitzing. Oh, I wasn't able to get him, but that was a big hit coming up from our safety. Oh, that was me, but I ran past him with, but we were able to tackle him third and six. Oh, my goodness. My linebacker couldn't jump that far up. They do have some motion coming to the right. Oh, that was me, and I completely whiffed. He had a spin move on, gain a four. Third and eight. There we go! Sacked! And they are out of field goal range. Uh, take it to halftime up, hopefully by a two-possession lead. Oh, are they going to cough and corner us? I think they did. Nope, it's coming out. Play action, it's a screen. And the day's hands. Oh, there we go! Looking over to the right. We're not. Oh, no. I threw that too late. I saw that the last second. That's my fault. Oh, my gosh. 1,000% my fault. I should have just hit the underneath. Probably aren't going to be able to go up by two possessions going into halftime, but we can still at least go up by one possession. At this point in time, I would settle for a field goal. Oh, oh, oh. Great field position. A minute 45 left. Garza getting us a pretty good chunk of yardage right there. Oh, nice little pass right there to Phillips. 52 seconds left. We have all three of our timeouts left if we so choose to use them. Oh, oh there we go, Gentry. We're going to go ahead and call a timeout. Get our guys in the right state of mind. There we go. Evans is our guy today. So we got 16 seconds left. Boom! Touchdown, Bearcats! We were able to hit Ife a day right down the middle of the field, splitting those safeties, getting right into the end zone with 14 seconds left, giving us a one possession lead. Going into halftime, we are leading 14 to seven. That was a great drive to end that second quarter. Drove it right down the field after throwing a pick six. Go figure, I turned the ball over, no way. We're definitely leading in passing yards. We're right there in rushing yards. We have to get the game going on the ground. That's what we're going to be doing here in the second half. And remember, we will be getting the ball to start the second half. So this is just a way for us to actually get that two possession lead that we were talking about. Well, I'm going to go with zone. Ah, oh, he faked me out. 
Third and two. Knock that bad boy down. Oh, no. <sighs> I'm so mad. So two guys run the same route, and I lofted it, wanting it to go just over the linebacker and safety's heads. But, of course, you know, it, it won't happen for me like that. Both of their touchdowns have been from pick sixes. Let's just go down, keep the ball on the daggone ground. Let's not, not try to get cutesy with it. It's what we've been trying to do. I feel decent now. Oh my goodness. That was supposed to be a comeback route. Three interceptions. I'm just glad they didn't take it back for a pick six. Third and goal from the one. That's their first touchdown actually on offense. Oh no. Oh my gosh. That was defensive end. Now they're up 10. 21 unanswered points. Gotta be smart with the ball. Let's do what we do. Okay. He's got some people. Make somebody miss. There we go. There we go. So for it again, fourth and nine. There we go. Efe's hands. There we go. There we go. That's going to be the end of the third quarter. Thank goodness we let up. 21 unanswered points. We've done four interceptions. We're doing so well. We got six minutes left. We we got this. We can come back. We can come back. Attaboy, check. I really wanted to throw it to the tight end, but I'm just going to go for it. There we go. Looks like they are playing pretty close so we're not going to be throwing it there we go gentry right up the middle we have someone who is open and he's able to catch it oh unable to get in though we're just gonna hand it off going to get cute with it touchdown bearcats we have pulled it to within a one score game gentry punching it in from the one four minutes 24 seconds left we're down one touchdown let's, let's stop him and get this ball back and score and tied up Oh, it's a screen. Oh, oh. Thankfully, he overthrew him. I'm glad I didn't mess that up. That was a great outing by this defense. Three minutes and 49 seconds left. Up the middle. Oh, counter. Up the oh, Come on. Able to hit Evans for a first down. Keeping it on the ground. There's a hole up the middle. Where but Jake finding that hole. Gentry screen. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. That was scary, but it was pretty. Oh, Evans. Oh, Evans. Two minutes left, all three timeouts. This is a perfect opportunity to keep it on the ground. There's a hole right there. Gentry's in again. I know he's tired. Right up the middle, getting a first down for us. We are taking it up the middle. There's a hole. Third and seven. I really don't like this. Oh, no. Ah. Oh. Fourth and seven. Holy crap. Is the game. It's the game right here. Oh, it's pass interference. It's got to be. Oh, no. Okay. We got him to throw the ball for some odd reason. Okay. 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 Whoa. Holy crap. Oh. Oh, dang it. Oh, so. There we go. There we go. What are you doing? That's how it's going to end. That is how it's going to end. You did not spike the ball fast enough. Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, I'm so freaking annoyed. I threw four interceptions. No one really did much of anything on the ground. We had three drops. Some of them were my fault. Some of them, you know, I put in bad places. Otherwise, nothing too spectacular. I really wish we could have got the uh, the Ife a day play going a little sooner. Or Kendrick Beal, he is really having himself a year. Gaither luckily led us in tackles. We did have one sack by Denver Warren. No interceptions. They scored 21 unanswered points in the third quarter. We do have a free safety committed, Steve Villa. We do have a few guys who've moved us up into top three or top five, so that's good. Here we see Steve Villa. He's really not all that fast. He can't really cover all that well, and he doesn't really move at all, but uh, he is a recruit. We're gonna go ahead and sim through this bye week after I hit some recruiting, so be right back. As we advance this bye week, we have another commit left. 
left tackle Rico School. Another commit, Jose Kafka. First fullback on the team, that's great. Another commit, Demarius Ecker, free safety. We have quite a few guys who are interested in us. All of them are one stars, as you can see. Rico School is definitely not the best lineman, but he is a body. He is going to be able to get in people's way, and he's going to be able to improve. That's the most important thing. Similarly, Kafka is going to have to improve as he doesn't do much of anything too great. Demarius Decker is looking like one of the better options we're going to have at safety. And I know that's not saying a lot looking at these stats, but, but I do hope that he can step up and be the man we need in the defensive backfield. In the midst of recruiting, I offered this guy a scholarship and Brian Cesario is coming to Bearcat Nation. He's not the sexiest. He's not the most exciting, but he's got decent speed. I like his hit power. He can tackle pretty well for a defensive back. So we're going to be loaded in the safety room. Well, after that embarrassing last possession where we were not able to get the spike off quick enough or, you know, really hit anyone down the field like we really wanted to. We look to bounce back as we welcome the Hilltoppers from Western Kentucky down to Huntsville next week. Eat them up, cats! Cats!